Hi everybody and welcome to Survival Dads. So today I want to show you this and demonstrate how to use it. This is the H&H &H Mini Compression Bandage. So this is a really cool, really thin, really compact trauma dressing which is suitable for a wide range of applications and is battle tested and approved for use by numerous countries, law enforcement agencies and militaries around the world. So this is from Reflex Medical in the UK. I will leave all the relevant links in the description below as always. Um, without further ado, I think I'll give you some quick details and get into it and demonstrate how to use it. So this is made from a elasticated bandage material and it has a four by six inch absorbent pad, which is suitable for a wide range of uh, injuries. It comes with four feet of the elasticated bandage, as I mentioned, and it is literally less than an inch thick. So if I just put this in my hand, you can see this thing is tiny, it has a really small footprint, and you can actually fold these bits uh, to give it an even smaller footprint. So that's really neat, perfect for uh, your handbag, glove box, you know, back pocket, IFAC, whatever you want. So looking at the outside of the packaging, you can see you have the tear notches here, ready to go. So if your hands are covered in blood, you're stressed, you lost those fine motor skills, you're still able to open it, no problem. On the front, you have the uh, basic information, the um, expiry date, manufacture date, and NATO stock number, and so on. On the back, you have some basic instructions. So if you hand this to someone, to say, you know, deal with that, they can look at this, they know what they're doing. So, there we go, that's pretty much the outside. We'll open it up and show you the inside. Okay, so open it up. Then you immediately have access to the dressing itself. So pull it out, toss it out to one side, and then you have your actual bandage material. So open it up, first things first, you have your large wound pan, so this is four inches by six inches. So that is gonna do a decent job of covering the wound site. Here, on the short end, you have some Velcro. Now what this does, it allows you to apply it easier. So as it grips itself, it's easier for one-handed application. And as we open the bandage material up, you can see you have that elasticated material. So this is really good for helping apply that firm direct pressure, which is what you want to control major bleeding. Now, as you make your way to the end, again, you have four feet of material here. You have a retaining clip. So you can see the teeth there. That simply allows you to finish wrapping and securing, so you don't need to worry about it coming loose during transport. So really simple, there is no pressure bar or anything like this. They have sacrificed that for the sake of it being so slim, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, I think. Um, you know, if you're not gonna carry it because it's too bulky, it's no good to you. So with being so thin, it's really neat. So what I'll do now is I'll show you its use and um, demonstrate how to use it. First things first, take the wound pad and place the actual pad side towards the wound, as I have done. Next thing you're going to want to do, if you're doing a self-application, is to locate the Velcro here, and then simply attach the Velcro thusly. What that does, it allows you to really uh, make it easier for one-handed application. So then you're going to pull it tight, get that elastic doing its job, and then wrap. And again, come around, pull it tight, and wrap. So you want to go over the wound site, slightly above and slightly below. Keep wrapping, getting it nice and tight. And then you will take your retaining clip here and simply attach it to the dressing itself. It's a little bit harder one-handed, but it can be done. And there we go. That 
is already making my hands numb, um, so it really is working with that firm direct pressure. Very neat. So, as I say, this is four feet of elasticated bandage, um, perfect for uh, animals, um, if you're dealing with animals, children, the elderly. If you are of a, a large nature, um, you may struggle to get decent direct pressure on maybe an upper leg, um, but most situations can be absolutely perfect. So really neat design, really slim profile, and definitely worth the weight in gold, I think. So like I mentioned, if you're interested in checking this out, I will leave a link in the description below. Be sure to use the code SURVIVALDANCE and you'll save yourself 10% of already great prices. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.